Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Travel Free. In this video, I'm going to explain you about decision tree in data mining. Actually, about decision tree algorithm that is about ID3 algorithm, I've already explained in my machine learning playlist. So I've explained it in three parts. I'll give the link of that three videos in the description and I will also explain about decision tree in this video. So if you think this is enough for me to write in the exam, you just learn this and go. If you're having time, if you're having patience, if you're having uh, enough, you know, everything to remember, then you watch that video and remember that and write that in the exam. Okay. It is a flow chart like tree structure. Decision tree is nothing but in form of tree you will have. It supports in taking decisions. It is mainly to classify the data. Okay. And it defines the rules visually in form of a tree. The rules are visually defined in form of a tree. Visually why? Because in form of a tree if you see it you will be able to understand it more clearly. Right. So that is why the rules are represented visually in the form of a tree here. So actually we have three types of nodes. First is root node. That is a main question and branch node is the intermediate processing nodes and the leaf node is the last one which is nothing but the answer to this question got it so this is about the types of nodes we have three types of nodes root node branch node leaf node got it root node is a question leaf node is the answer this branch node is the intermediate processing in order to get this answer okay so and here we have actually attribute selection method measures so what do you mean by attribute selection measures it is very simple you are selecting any attribute to represent it in a decision tree or somewhere or you know now you are picking up an attribute then how do you pick up that attribute how do you select that attribute you select it based on two things first is information gain and the other is entropy about these things also i've explained in the video uh, in the machine learning decision tree video playlist uh, so and also the formulas everything i've explained but still i will explain you again information gain is nothing but how much information does the answer to the specific question provide so if you are having a question okay suppose in the exam only you got a question to uh, uh, you know write something about the decision tree then you have written four pages of answer let us see okay in these four pages how much is actually specific you know how much is actually the real content you are giving See, four pages if you write, it doesn't mean that you have written everything perfectly, right? Four pages, you might have written some story. So in those four pages, what is actually efficient? What is What actually provides the correct answer to the question which is asked is important. That is what information gain. How much information does the answers to the specific question provide? That is, it provides complete 100% information or it provides 90% information or it is giving you just 10% of the information. How much information? That you can get by information gain. And the second measure is the entropy. So basically entropy is the amount of uncertainty in the information. That is if you are having some information, how much is the uncertainty? That is the probability that it may go wrong. Okay, how much? That is called as the entropy. Got it? So as the information gain increases, the entropy will decrease. Okay, information gain means what? How much you know you can say the accuracy of the answer right if it is increasing obviously the uncertainty will decrease so that is what it is given here that is they both are inversely proportional to each other okay for example decision tree credit score rating a means average b is bad c is good and d e is excellent okay so we have constructed a decision tree so first the root node is age so based on age we are classifying so below 30 years and above 50 years between 30 to 50 years we have divided it into three categories first these are the intermediate nodes or you can say branch nodes as well okay and these are the leaf nodes so if the age is less than 30 then you'll have two categories again whether the income is less than 30,000 or income is greater than or equal to 30,000 if the income is less than 30,000 then the credit score is B that is bad okay and if the income is greater than or equal to 30,000 then the credit score is C which is good okay so like that based on the age and based on the income you are getting the credit score of a particular person 
ओके एंड फ्रॉम दिस डेसीशन ट्री वॉट आर द रूल्स दैट यू कैन जनरेट लाइक इफ एज इज लेस दैन थर्टी एंड इनकम इज ऑल्सो लेस दैन थर्टी दिस वन इफ एज इज लेस दैन थर्टी एंड इनकम इज ऑल्सो लेस दैन थर्टी देन द क्रेडिट स्कोर इज इक्वल टू बैड बी इफ एज इज लेस दैन थर्टी एंड इनकम इज ग्रेटर दैन इक्वल टू थर्टी के देन द क्रेडिट स्कोर इज इक्वल टू गुड लाइक दैट सो बेस्ड ऑन द decision tree you are getting the rules or based on the rules given to you you can construct a decision tree that is what decision tree will give you that is you can make quick decisions so by looking at that this tree if some person comes to you then first what you will ask you will ask the age of the person if the person says my age is 35 then you will see okay 35 means it will come in this category and you will ask for the income if the person says my income is 50000 per month so like here it may be less than 50k it may be between 15k to 1 lakh and here it may be from 1 lakh to 2 lakhs like that so based on the income that the person has said you will be categorizing into the credit you know so that that this in this way decision tree will help you in making quick decisions and also in classification of the data got it so now you have classified the people into different credit scores right like into credit scores a b c d you have classified the people got it so this is about the decision tree again i'm telling you i'll give the links of the three parts of decision tree video in the description if you want to watch that and if you want to write that you can write that or you can write this as well okay no issues right so that's all for this video let's meet up in the next coming video with another topic if you're still having any doubts just let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to clear all your doubts for sure thanks for watching the video till the end